Let me get everything set up here. Um, happy Halloween! <laughs> it is Halloween. Um, and we are playing a pretty chill, silly little game today because that's what I felt like. Definitely feeling the Halloween spirit today, though. Definitely, definitely feeling it. Halloween finally hit. I think because a lot of us have been celebrating holiday, have been celebrating Halloween for weeks now. But the rest of the world, the rest of society has not. And so they finally kicked in today and that gave me the motivation that I needed. But I still don't know if I have enough energy to do something super spooky. But I was going into work today and I remembered this game exists. And then I was like, that's kind of like trick-or-treating. A little bit, like in a way, right? And so I was like, maybe I'll play that tonight. Because, so I never really got to go trick-or-treating when I was like a little kid. Because our neighborhood didn't have trick-or-treating. Because it was like mostly an old person neighborhood. Not enough kids. So they just didn't do trick-or-treating. Um, and, uh, you know, so so it's kind of like charming to play a little game that's almost like trick-or-treating. And then I went to work. And people at work were debating, um, uh, people I overheard there were debating, um, uh, going, uh, trick-or-treating or going to, like, a party. So, and I think they ended up deciding to go trick-or-treating. They were like, yeah, I don't care that I'm old, not gonna stop me. <laughs> um, so, maybe they, like know a child or something <laughs> or maybe they're just going good for them good for them um but i uh, i don't even know where there would be trick-or-treating to be honest but um i don't have any parties to go to i don't even if i did i wouldn't want to go to parties yeah i'm not really a party person particularly you know um but uh but yeah so but i was like man trick-or-treating sounds nice Sounds nice. It's always, you know, very... I don't know. So, I was like, you know, this game is perfect. This this really kind of solidified it. In the morning, I was like, mm, maybe I could play that. And then throughout the day, I was like, mm, yeah, that trick-or-treating sounds really good. This is about as close as I can get, sort of. Um, it's not even really trick-or-treating, but you know, it's kind of, kind of. Um, and I posted a little story to Twitter and Blue Sky that I had worked on, um, on like saturday night um after stream remember how i said i was writing stuff and hanging around the discord to write stuff um and uh i didn't really end up writing a lot on it or um really editing it very well like you know i looked through and read it but you know i it's not a very well written story <laughs> it's not like what i would submit to like a publisher or something right for like a literary magazine or something right um just something little, just a little, little snippet. It's just a Halloween treat, right? It doesn't have, it's, it's, a, it's a little, little treat. Just a little. Just a little one. Might not be the type of candy you like. But, you know, that, sometimes that happens. Sometimes you go to the house and they give you a little treat and you don't like that one. And so, you know what? Maybe my story's like that. I don't know. <laughs> It's not really very clever, creative, or well written. So you know, my apologies. Um, like I said, this is the this is like milk duds. Okay, I gave you milk duds, and you better be happy about it. <laughs> um, let's see what else. What else? Um, uh, yeah, it's Halloween. Halloween time is fun. Um, Halloween is fun, but it's the last day of Halloween season. Tomorrow starts um, uh, starts November, and so I'm going to be doing not NaNoWriMo in um november which and anyone else can participate with me it's where you do some sort of creative project that is not nanorimo so you can also write a novel in a month if as long as you don't do it with nanorimo and uh you can write a song you can uh, make videos you can um do art whatever any any sort of creative project um you can you can record i don't know whatever you're doing um, you can do it in November for not NaNoWriMo if you would like to join me. <laughs> if you want company in your creative aspirations and endeavors. Um, but uh, but yeah, so that starts this um, 
tomorrow starts not this one, but you know tomorrow november um and uh this weekend i guess um and uh i'll be writing about my vtuber lore um so that's kind of fun i'm excited for that um and uh yeah um hmm. what else was i going to do um you we were going to say uh so yeah so anyway i'll be hanging around the discord a lot just kind of chilling as i write um so if you're doing something for that um come come chat um and the like little cafe vibes hangout space um because that's where people hang out and do creative endeavors you know um so uh that's where i'll be as i'm working on writing and stuff and so i'll be um doing that um probably all evening tomorrow i'm really excited to get into it um i love you know november is actually a really great month it usually is usually a lot of good things happen in november um not like i don't know i don't know i just I don't want to say good things happen in November, but just ends up being a good month, you know? And it's a nice, comfortable month, um, in my experience. So, um, but, uh, let's see. Um, oh, and, and this beautiful song from Ori and the Blind Forest came on just as I was talking about that. So that's how you know that it's true and that it, that is a um good sign it's a it's a, a a positive omen and um that means that november is going to be a great month um go achieve your dreams is there something you want to do go do it um the, the sky's the limit <laughs> um so uh let's see yeah and saturday play another spooky game because spooky saturdays and that's just the way it works and then uh sunday we'll do something completely different something entirely non-spooky completely probably i assume um so yeah so anyway that's what we have coming up around here these parts <laughs> um mm, yeah and um so anyway let's get into the get into the stream um what is it i want to do here I turn off the music oh but i like the song we'll wait until the song is over or is it mostly over um yeah, okay, it's mostly over. It's just petering out right now. Okay, we're good, we're good. Can't interrupt that song. So pretty. Um, okay, let me pull up the game. I haven't opened it yet, so. Hmm. Hmm. What happened to, oh, here it is. Ew. Why does it have my... We're going to need to change the resolution settings on this. Mm. Uh-oh. Okay, it's working. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. Um. Yes, that please. Controls. Sorry, kind of checking things out here before. Okay, it's fine. Um. Uh, I guess the music is okay. Um, maybe down a little bit. Mm. That's probably fine. We'll see once we get into the game and what other noises it has for us. Um, okay. Hold on, let me switch over. Uh, oh, there we go. Good. Second, I was worried it wouldn't capture. Will it, though? Will it? Will it? Uh-oh. No, is it not working? Oh man. Why is it doing the same- it's doing the same thing FNAF did. Where I try to capture it, and it's fine. It's like, okay, capture a game window. Suck up, please. And then you say, okay. And it just shows a black screen. Hold on. What if I exit? And then... Wow. On my desktop, that's a weird place for anything to be. Okay, what if I open the game while... The game capture is set to this. No. Well, 
Why is it not working? Man, it's so disappointing. I want to play the... How does anyone else play this game? Other people are using OBS and, and playing this game. Why doesn't it work? sure what the issue is. Hmm. Man, I guess we can play Phasmophobia again, but I really wanted to play this game. Considering I purchased it. Hold on, I want to try to Google this. Black screen in OBS. Please stop making everything be a YouTube video. Post text to the internet, please. I can't play a YouTube video right now. I'm streaming. Um. Um. Uh, Yeah, it should work. I don't know why it's not working. Let me try. Um, see, I can't do display capture because I only have one monitor. <laughs> That's the problem. Um... Um, because I don't want to pull up OBS and have everyone see all of OBS. Um, so it has to be game capture. And normally if a game doesn't work with game capture, the window doesn't show up when you choose your game capture window, right? Like, that's the way it's always been before. But now, I'm so disappointed. Why did I buy this game? Why did I buy this game? What a waste of money. It's like $15. <sighs> I'm not feeling the spirit of Halloween anymore. I'm so excited. I had to run around and like talk, go door to door and talk to people and be like, I'm trick or treating, but, but, but I'm a vampire. And man, ugh. What did I do to Halloween and October for it to hate me this bad? What did I do? Halloween, why do you hate me? Why can I not play these games? FNAF? Nope. Suck up? Nope. You can't play these games. You can't play them. You aren't deserving of these games. You're not good enough. You're not good enough. Yes. That makes me sad. Um, okay. Hold on. Let's switch over to Phasmophobia due to lack of the game I purchased. Whatever. It's fine. We'll just recalibrate. Play a different game now. Suck Up was the game. The one where like you're a vampire and you put on different disguises and go talk to people. Which many other streamers have played. But like maybe they were just using display capture the whole time, um, which is possible. Because I feel like most other streamers have two monitors. Um, like I used to. I have two monitors under my bed, <laughs> you see. Um, uh, I just don't have them hooked up because I'm using my laptop. Because it's better than the PC that I built, which only lasted two years. Um, let's see. Okay, so we gotta just redo, redo, it's fine. 
fine. Now we're going to play Phasmophobia. Phasmophobia is always there for us. Never disappoints. Got to log into Steam, though. I was not logged into Steam because I was like, I'm not playing a Steam game. Now I am. <laughs> okay. Remember, that's fine. I just wanted to play a cute little game. I wanted to play a cute little game. Instead, we're playing Phasmophobia. <laughs> Which is the- Oh, look! Life is Strange Double Exposure, now available. Wow, if only I could play it. But I can't, because my computer's not good enough. I'm salty. <laughs> Last few weeks have not been... Have not been going. What's this game? Oh, never mind. It's one of the ones, I mean, it looks okay, but mm, look cute, so. Um, hmm, okay. Phasmophobia, let's go. <laughs> All right. Why is play in VR the, like, first option they give you? I don't want to play it in VR. I don't have VR set up. I haven't used my Vive VR in a long time. Okay, okay. Let's go. Oh, I think my is my I forget what my volume settings were when we played this last. Hmm. Initializing. Let's go. Welcome back. There's some jobs ready for you. Um, I guess it's okay. I think I might wanna increase the volume a little bit though, I think. Maybe turn it down a little and that's probably fine. Um, yep, good old Phasmophobia. It's always there for you. <laughs> the replayability on Phasmophobia. Top notch. Top notch. It's like one of those horror games that's always good. Like Dead by Daylight, right? Except Dead by Daylight stopped being fun, I feel like, after like the first several months, maybe. Um, used to be fun, then it wasn't. But for a while there, it was also a staple. See how that game capture picks up? No, you guys don't, but... <laughs> I do. I know. See? Look at that. Look at that. Look at how beautiful the game capture works for this game. It's great. Okay. All right. We get to play the locations. That's really good. That's really good. I'm, I'm glad. Playing this was actually pretty fun the other day. I, um... Kind of reflecting on the games we have played during Halloween week. Um, actually, let, let's do that real quick before we dump into this. I want to reflect. I'm going to reflect for a moment. Um, hmm. Hmm, okay. Oh, what a hell of a boss episode came out today. Honestly, there's so much Halloween stuff going on. Really weird choice. I mean, not a weird choice, but like... I have other stuff going on. I don't have time for Hell of a Boss. But, um... Uh... But I guess that's 2 million views, so... Must be fine. Okay, um... Let's see. What, um... What have I played? I need to... Oh, I do need to go to this. Okay. Going up YouTube so I can see my own pods. Um... This review. We played... Uh, I'll Slay the Princess wasn't even during Halloween week. Interesting. Um, oh, we started with Chilla's Art. Karaoke in the Bathhouse. Those were good. Those were good. Solid. Um, not, I don't think they were my favorite Chilla's Art games, but they were good. Um, Egg Fried Rice, which was part of the short indie horror stream, but um, <laughs> the crashed uh, boiling noodles at night crashed my computer. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, so they're two separate pods now, two separate videos. Um, and, uh, but that was good. That was a good stream. A lot of those games were fun. Um, it was a little exhausting going through so many games, but I did like it. Uh, Moving Houses was good. That was good. It was a cute little game, right? It wasn't anything crazy, but it was, it was nice. And it had a little story kind of went with it. And, um, you know, at first it was, I mean, I guess it was kind of a lot like a Chilla's game where, 
um, you know, you have a little job you're doing first, and then and then you start getting the getting the spooky stuff. Fears to fathom. Oh, yeah, that was a downer. Didn't like that. Oh, old newspaper bingo and spooky personality quizzes. That's where things took a little bit of a turn. Um, but uh, hey, Matt. Um, yeah, fears to fathom put us in a bad mood. And then the old newspapers and the personality quizzes were like took a weird direction. <laughs> Um, I feel like a, a little bit out of spooky stuff, spooky realm. And then we had the um, reacting to the analog horror videos, which was actually pretty good. Um, that, that wasn't bad looking back on it. I think I'd like it if I were like, I think it improved my mood from where I was in the other videos. But um, I think I'd like it better if I were going into it already in a good mood. <laughs> right. Um, so maybe someday we'll have to do that. Um, and then, uh, um, then we did Five Nights at Freddy's 2, which, looking back on it, it was a really fun game. It was just very stressful in the moment. <laughs> and I was still on the rise out of, like, trying to break out of my, like, crummy mood. But, um, but it, I, it was a really fun game. I really kind of liked it. And apparently it's a hard one, actually. I didn't know. I don't know why I thought... For sure I thought three was the hardest. But I don't know. Maybe it's just because the animatronics in three look creepier. But um, I don't know. For some reason I didn't realize... Uh, obviously, Ultimate Custom, Ultimate Custom Night is the hardest. But most people say um, you know, FNAF 2 is the hardest after that. Which I was kind of surprised by. So like maybe I didn't do so bad. Um, and then we did more reacting to analog horror. That was okay. Again, I think I'd like it if I was in a really bad mood in that stream. So I think I'd like it more if we went into it and, um, it's the hardest for RNG. Oh, I see. So yeah, I, it's the first one I really properly played. So I don't know. Um, but, uh, I really liked it. Um, and I'm not sure because it took me like two hours to beat the like five nights. And so I don't know if that like, it still might be a bad time, but, um, it, like, I don't know. Um, I feel like I didn't do so bad then, if it is one of the harder ones. Um, but the more reacting to Animal Core, we just did Marble Hornets, that was fun. Um, again, I was in a really bad mood. I think I would like that if I'm in a good mood. So maybe sometime in November, we'll do more Animal Core, um, and watch, watch more Marble Hornets, because... I was really liking that. And then Amanda the Adventurer, that didn't go well. So what games did we like? We liked Chilla's Art. I liked the indie horror games, the little short ones, and Moving Houses. And and FNAF 2. And the analog horror was alright. Um, those were the games that I, I enjoyed. Amanda the Adventurer, not it. Um, oh, Solo Phasmo and I'm on Observation Duty 7. Observation duty yesterday was okay. It just it was kind of frustrating because I wasn't doing very good. <laughs> I don't really like things I'm not good at. Actually, it turns out. Um, I like doing things I'm good at. <laughs> Fears to Fathom. Like, Fears to Fathom, I think, ruined everything. I feel like it's everything that went wrong the past couple weeks is Fears to Fathom's fault. Particularly Norwood Hitchhike. You know, I'm going to put everything. Mr. Carson we'll excuse him we'll excuse him but we're gonna put everything on norwood hitchhike everything on that all norwood hitchhike's fault anything that went wrong any bad mood and for, for you guys too for everyone go ahead and feel free to blame norwood hitchhike i am <laughs> i feel that that's where things went wrong um but looking back on the um phasmo stream the other day that was enjoyable. And looking back on FNAF, that was also enjoyable. FNAF was more enjoyable, I think, than Phasma the other day. But you know what? We're here again now. So it, it is what it is. Okay. Intermediate. Good, good. Let's go. Uh, let's start at... Let's only do the spooky maps. We'll just only do the spooky maps. It kind of limits us, but... Well, at least for now. Maybe we'll do one of the... Like, sunny meadows or something. Just for the, just for the laughs. I'll do, I'll do it on, um, hardest, hardest setting, nightmare mode, sunny meadows. Again, a revisit. 
<laughs> I did it before. I'll do it again. I will probably just like die immediately, but sometimes that happens. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Cool. For a second, I was like, where's my stuff? How's the volume? I think I need to turn my volume up, actually. Hold on. I want to turn stream volume down a little bit. And my volume up a little bit. There we go. Sophie Hill. Hmm. Sophie Hill. Like King with the Hill. Okay, um... Average single 25 photo number ghost event. Okay. Can do, can do. It's in the garage. Good to know. All right. What are we doing first? Flashlight. Oops. E. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. And then uh, this. And I guess the book. Right. E. Here we go. here oh wait no it's in the garage right i don't know what i'm thinking i was like it's down here i'm like no 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 over here right 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 i remember i literally just looked up where this was silly silly me okay nothing spooky happening yet at least not that i've been noticing But, oh, I should probably actually have the thing out that matters. I was just like, no, no, no cold, cold air. Not seeing my breath, but, um. We do also need to check for EMF, too. Where's the light for the basement? Right down here? Oh, it is here. Hearing creaking noises. Oh, I hate that this door opens like that. Hmm. It's blipping a little bit, but not enough. Not enough for it to be the ghost room. Maybe I should try one of these other locations on Nightmare Mode. Like, not just Sunny Meadows. You know? Is it the bathroom again? Feels like it's always the bathroom. No. At least I don't think so. Hmm. Nothing here. Upstairs, huh? Wow, it's been a while since I've had a ghost upstairs. Oh, right. I should probably turn a light on. The nursery? Upstairs bathroom. Hmm. Where's the spooky music coming from? Well, oh, I think I completely missed this room last time, maybe. Okay, so this is probably our room. Oh, yeah, that was EMF level 5. Okay. Oh, and I'm seeing my breath. Jesus. Okay. Chill. Chill. Um, uh, okay. Let's leave. Ooh. 
I don't like those things hanging in front of the door like that. Okay, I think I think I was seeing my breath there. So I think we have freezing temperatures. I think. So I think we have freezing temperatures and EMF level five. Twins, interesting. Ooh, I hope it's not the twins, actually. Actually, let's see what um Jen Shade. Oni and the twins, okay. Um, Jin, ultraviolet, shade, ghostwriting, Oni, dots, and the twins, spirit box. Okay, well, Oni we can do with dots. Ghostwriting's already in there, and Jin is ultraviolet. Okay, so let's bring in, oops, E. Oh, right, I'm still holding this. Get out. You were useful, though. I appreciate you. Okay. Uh, what do we do first? First, we probably should put down the dots. Actually. That seems to be pretty active. Oh, I should have gotten the camera. Well, I guess it's not that important. It's not like there's... Um, oh, we got it. We got it. Let's leave. Did, what? Sony, check the thermometer? Really? Oh, that's stupid. Well, I haven't had that issue recently. It's always been the same. Um, we'll go in and check then. Ultraviolet. It's probably a gin. We'll mark that for now. But we'll check the check the thermometer too. Hmm. Now I don't have the camera. I was like, oh, I could probably. Oh, my flashlight is not on. Um. Oh, the light in here turned off. Right. I just, I can't see anything. I can't see the thermometer. I'm too big too, so you can't see it either. <laughs> oh no. Oh, well, it's, it's fine. Oops. Can't see. I guess I need to set it down, probably. There we go. Is that low? I mean, it got lower. I think we're going to call it. I don't want to risk anything. It's getting a little... It, it loves being active. Um, sanity's going lower. We're going to call it a gin. I witnessed a ghost event. Yeah, woo. Okay. Please. And if it's not, then our bad. But my bad. Hmm. Ah, oh, nope. Nope, it wasn't. Aw, oh, man. Okay. I just couldn't read the thermometer. It was too dark. How do you make it be lighter? <laughs> like, I can't read it, but if I take it outside to read it, I'm not gonna be able to, uh... I'm, I'm not gonna be able to see the temperature because it'll be somewhere else. <sighs> That's tricky. It's this, 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 these red maps, ma'am. These red maps. You can't see anything. It's so dark. <laughs> Let's go to the farmhouse. Actually, you know what? No, let's do this one. This is like my favorite, my favorite one, I think. This and Ridge, Ridgeview Court are my favorites. Hold on, I'm gonna take a drink. They are my favorite. Um, let's go. I'm so glad, though, that I ha don't have to buy a new thermometer every time. I guess I wouldn't this time, because I didn't die, but... All right, we're here. I'm going to this time. Jennifer Stratton. Member of your team escaped the ghost during a hunt. 
Post event capture photo. Okay. We'll see. Mm -hmm. It's over in the garage again. Okay. Let's go. This time we'll do better. We'll do better. Noises in here are kind of weird. I always forget this door opens out because it sucks. Okay. Um. Surprisingly, living room. I'm not sure I've ever had a ghost actually be out here. Upstairs again. Repeat of last time. Last door is already open. Suspicious. That making a creepy noise? Where does this light even to? Okay, whatever. The breaker died? What? Really? Oh. Is that a new thing? They never- that wasn't the case before. Hmm. Well, that's fine then. Hmm. At least I never had that issue before. Hmm. Okay, well, um, I guess I never had to, I normally am able to find the ghost room a little bit easier. Yeah, I mean, I know they've been changing it. I just haven't been keeping track. I haven't played it before last Tuesday. I haven't played it, you know, since the previous September, and I don't keep track of the patch notes every single time there's an update. So I don't pay attention to what's changed. I did stop looking at info about the game, though, because there are so many updates with, like, people being like, here's the strategy, here's what you should do, here's what happens, but a lot of the information about how the ghosts behave and things is out of date because they change it so much, so I kind of stopped, stopped kind of paying attention to ghost behaviors because um, you never really know if they keep changing it. Hard. I... Hmm... Okay, I guess the thermometer, maybe? Something's gotta work. It's so hard to see, though. I 
Can't I shine my flashlight onto the thermometer? You'd think with my two hands I would have that ability. But I don't. I guess I'll turn the breaker back on from over here. No. I'll turn light on it. Yeah, I guess it kind of works. You get a room with good lighting. Need to read the thermometer. Turn it off. I turned one light on. Come on. And then I turned it off. Hmm. I think horrible things are happening upstairs. Can't hide in these, so no. Nope. Okay, kind of hoping. Hmm. Well, let's go die. This round just isn't isn't gonna happen. Oh, it's still open. A miracle. Okay, how bad is my sanity? Oh, wow, yeah. I knew stuff was happening. Something was up. 50%. I still haven't even found the ghost room. My god, this one's hard. Um, hmm. Oh, maybe this one. Hmm. Okay. I wasn't sure if that was a hunter if that was a ghost event. It used to be a ghost event, so it's good to know that now it's also a hunt. I swear that wasn't a hunt when I played before. So. Okay, well now we found it. Yay! <laughs> hmm. Not going well. On Rio. I don't know. I didn't, not only did I not have any evidence, I didn't even know the ghost room. Mm, okay, next. I want to do that one again. I want to. I want to beat this house. <laughs> I think this is the scariest location in the game, personally. Keith Hill. Hey, hey, are you related to Sophie Hill, or maybe like Hank Hill, Bobby Hill, and um? Wow. I wonder if Keith and Sophie both lived here together. Who was that last person? Stra Jennifer Straffen? Uh, who is she? Was she Keith's lover? Oh my gosh. Where, was Keith... No! No! Jennifer Straffen was Sophie's lover. Keith came home and murdered them when he found Sophie was cheating on him with, with Jennifer. The drama! I can't believe I get to investigate this crazy story of a double homicide suicide. Wow. E, right. Wow. Isn't it amazing? Let's ask the ghosts what really happened. They'll know the whole story, as I bet you that's not it. I bet you it's even crazier. Something crazy must have happened. Maybe it wasn't even Keith who killed them. Maybe it was actually Jennifer or Sophie all along. Okay. Is the breaker in the garage? I actually forgot to check. I was so caught up in the story. No. It's in the basement. Alright. That's fine. It's fine. 
whatever. I don't need to need to know where the breaker box is. Who even needs that? Not me. I don't care. I like the darkness. I live in the darkness. I don't know what direction the door opens in. You think I'd remember at some point here, but I don't. Okay. Nothing suspicious yet. Hmm. Phasmophobia lore. That's what the rib cage, where was it? Over here? Why am I not seeing it? I don't know. I must be blind. Behind the table? Oh. Is this the go- is the hallway the ghost room then? Oh, this room's a ghost Oh, here it is. Okay. Is it the hallway? What room even is it? This? I'm like... Okay, well, let's put this out here then. We'll put it like right here. Okay. All right. Um. Uh, I might need you later, but for now, we'll just say no. I'll get this and this. Let's see, where's the best place? Oh, probably over here. It's a good place to put this. Yeah. Oh, we should probably close this door for right now so we can see the dots better. I guess it doesn't matter, actually, but... Okay, and then... Oh, I probably should angle the camera. No, the camera can go over here. I think. Uh-oh. Are you actually haunting, or are you just, like, chilling? Uh-oh. Being spooky at me. Okay. Um, let's check. Oops. E. This and, uh, I guess this one is fast. So. Where's the light? lights don't here. The lights didn't even work. Cool. Oh, we might have freezing temperatures, actually. Keeps going. Doesn't look like it is. Hmm. Let's place this right, right here. Uh-oh. Oh, it's, it's just messing around. It's just being goofy. Oh, this is what I want. No. No. Okay. I don't know what else... Where else this would be. I want the light switch, but where is the... Light switch? Oh, it might be the whole hallway, even. Maybe. Hmm. Like the lights aren't working. Front door, maybe? Can we look on the front door if there's prints? Yep, RIP lights. Oh no. No! 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 <laughs> it was playing too much! I thought it was. I was right by the door! Oh, that was that was we got our room and we got everything set up. We should have gone back and checked 
the camera. Oh, I didn't even turn the camera on when I set it down. I had to. I've got some jobs ready for you. I... <sighs> See, I kind of sometimes frustrates me when the game is like this because we didn't have freezing temperatures. Um, cool. We didn't get freezing temperatures and that's what's a little bit disappointing is that that's such a like staple of a hantu but i like washed the thermometer it went down to 10 degrees but it didn't go lower to freezing and i was standing there waiting and it moved but it didn't move beyond that um and like i get that sometimes things take time but we didn't see our breath and i feel the thermometer should have moved down faster Personally, a little misleading. <sighs> like, I see people doing, like, no evidence runs, and I honestly kind of don't know how they do, because, like, the ghost behaviors don't always model what you think they should, based on the descriptions. And um, even with evidence, sometimes it's really hard to get the evidence you need. It doesn't make it easy. I didn't even get to figure out what happened with the hills! With Sophie and Keith and Jennifer, Jerry Norris. I wonder if he's involved. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to capture them with a motion sensor. All right. It's in the garage this time. This time I checked. All right. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm not even going to bother. Wait a minute. Did I? Oh. Here we go. We have we have a thing. E, right. Okay. Like, I just saw something, but where? I don't really care about the, about the lights, really, actually. It can just be dark. I'm fine with that. Maybe I prefer it the dark. Then the ghosts won't see me coming. They'll never know what hit them. I heard something going bumping around. Is it this bathroom again? Oh, we're getting a little... Thinking it's the bathroom. Go down here and check just in case. This set was where suspicious noises were coming from. No, I think I'm just wasting my time. My precious, precious running stamina. Okay. We didn't get very much EMF, so we'll leave that there. Right now we'll take this and... Yeah, this. Okay. I feel like the ghost is always in this bathroom. Oops. My bad. There we go. That's pretty good. Okay, and then we will... Turn the camera on and set it, like, right, um, here, maybe? Should be a good angle. Slightly raised, so when we bring the thermometer in, you can see it really good. Really well, even. Okay. Oh, I don't can see it. Camera from there. Uh, no, it's not a good angle either. Okay, I think that's good. I think it's just, it's just, it's just playing. Okay, but I don't think we have fingerprints. 
So... At least we did it just then. Let's check. Thermometer seems fine. Everything else seems fine. Let's wait, though. You know, it's probably good to go in early for the spirit box if we can, though. Let's let's try spirit box. Hello, ghost. Are you here? Who are you? Where are you? Ghost, where are you? Are you here? Can you hear me? Hello? Ghost, are you here? Can you speak louder? It's kind of got some red noise, red little bloops, but I don't know if they count. Hello, ghost? Ghost, can you talk to me? Are you here? What is your name? How did you die? Are you in this room with me? Are you in the bathroom? I don't think I'm getting anything. Let's go back and see. Like, we have, like, four ways of evidence that we can get out here in the truck, right? We can see the thermometer, the book, the dot, and, of course, any sort of orbs on the camera. So, we are, our best chances are right here. Really. Just gotta wait it out a little bit. Um... Hmm. Let's see. Well, anyway, Halloween. Um, apparently there was an earthquake earlier, and it was really sad because I saw people posting about it. And then I went, um, but I didn't like feel it at all. And I went and you know checked the earthquake hashtag, and everyone was like, "Oh my gosh, little earthquake here in LA!" But I didn't feel it because I guess it was too far east. Um, so it was like. Practically the San Bernardino Valley, pretty much. Practically. Too far east for me. And also it was a very small earthquake. Like, earthquakes that are bigger you can feel from much farther away. It's like a 2.1, right? It barely registers for, like, most earthquake apps and stuff. But everyone was like, whoa, crazy Halloween earthquake. Halloween celebrating the Dodgers one. Oh, yeah, the Dodgers one, apparently. The World Series, the baseball thing that they do. Those guys, they they go out there and they play a game, a baseball game. And that's like what they do. It's like their job. And they won. So, good for them. Mm. Let's see, what else? What else? Um, uh, oh, Japan yesterday that was good for them that was good for them their high court decided that same-sex marriage ban was unconstitutional so that's good um so apparently a lot of like japanese people in la really like the dodgers is what i heard from other people today so that's why that reminded me of that like hmm, big day for the japanese i guess hmm but yeah, apparently last night was crazy then. Apparently, like, downtown, there were, like, a lot of fireworks and, um, and a lot of, like, looting <laughs> and stuff. Crazy. Okay, we're not getting any evidence. Is it, do I even have the right room? It feels like it's gotta be. Hmm. Huh. Maybe it's not even the bathroom at all. I swear it was. And let's, I guess, uh, go back in with this, I think. Gotta do something. Can't just sit around and wait for evidence to appear on the screen. I gotta go find it myself. Mm. 
What? Here? Which room is it? Oh, it's this room. It's been this room the whole time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta we gotta reset up. Um go away. Go away. This, this. We gotta move, we gotta move. Uh oh. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. We're all good. We're all good. Um, um. Right, um, kind of got an angle sideways. No G. Good enough. Okay. Camera, camera, camera. Dots. Camera. Set up the camera right here. Nope. Can't see the uh, thermometer from there. Right here, I guess. And then, no. Um, maybe right here? No! Uh-oh. Oh, it got me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, it took me too long to realize. I didn't get the EMF until I was in the bathroom, that's why. So I got confused. Oh, man. And I heard so many noises from the bathroom, but they were all coming from next door. Oh, man. Man, I- this game got harder since I played. So hard, more like, man. Yeah. <sighs> fine. That's fine, whatever. Maybe I just- I just suck tonight. Man, I, what is wrong with me? I can't- Man, I am not doing well. <laughs> jo- J Hill! Oh my god, the drama continues. Oh my god, what happened between J Hill and Sophie Hill and Keith Hill? Was Sophie also having an affair with Jay and Jennifer? Or wait, wait! Wait, the Halloween event is more difficult? Oh. I thought it was just more difficult because it's darker inside and hard to see. But, like, I don't know if it has anything to do with gathering evidence or not, but... Okay, okay, so we have... We have Jay, Sophie, and Keith. I don't know. May maybe these other people had nothing. Jerry and Jennifer? Maybe they had nothing to do with it, you know? Maybe maybe it was just channeling the Jays and they picked Jay names, but it's really Jay Hill was what that the thought was. And so Jay Hill, Jay Hill, how's he connected to Keith and Sophie? What happened? What happened? What happened to the hills? Silent hills. Um, okay. Let's gather our stuff. A ghost is faster and drains sanity faster. Oh, interesting. Oh, I like it anyway. It's still spooky. I like it. I like how it's all red and spooky looking. Because that's one thing that Demonologist kind of has better, right? Is, um, it's... Well, not has better, but, you know, something that is kind of better about Demonologist is it is a little bit spookier. Um, and that's kind of nice, really. Um, like, the environment is spookier. These environments aren't very scary. Is the bathroom this time, or are you tricking me again? Be for real. Okay, we're gonna go with the bathroom again. Yeah, the the blood moon's pretty, pretty cool. Just, I like all the, like, spooky candles and writing and papers. I like the papers. Slender got me liking papers with creepy writing on it. I don't know. Okay, same setup as last time, but hopefully this is the right room. That's gonna be our deal. Okay. Unless it's like the twins or something. Okay. Uh, this 
and this. Okay, this we set up on the sink. Good, good. And this we set up. Okay, it's just playing around. It's fine. Yeah, it's good. That's good. Okay. Mm, yeah, I like it. It's just so, I mean, the outside's always a little bit spooky, actually. So I don't really have a problem with that. But, um, I actually, and I like how normal it is. But, you know, for Halloween, you do want something a little, little extra. And this is just the right kind of extra, I think. Um, right here. Yeah, it should be good. It should show up. Okay, nope. I don't even know why I bother looking at other parts of the door. It's always in the middle. Hmm, no fingerprints. But maybe it just doesn't have fingerprints. Maybe the ghost has clean fingers. Maybe the ghost washed its hands since it's in the bathroom. Look at that. That's the real spook. Um, let's give it a go. Once we're inside, of course. Once we are inside. Did I kick that? Can I even kick things? Ghost was cooking dinner. He's in the bathroom, though. Ghost, are you here? Hello? Where are you? What is your name? Are you in here? I heard a noise from in here. What the? It can do that? It can move your stuff like that? That's so rude. Hey, ghost. Hey, ghost. Stop moving my camera. Right, it's not me kicking it. Okay, at least it's writing. Okay. Fingerprints on my camera. I'm go outside. Check my camera, see if it's gonna fling it again. Like, what's the point if it's gonna keep flinging my camera around like that? That's not where I left my camera. What, like, what if it's orbs? Like, it's gotta be so hard to see. Oh, thank you for the raid, Dante. Welcome. Welcome. Hmm. Hopefully you had a good stream. What were you playing? Um. Hmm. Okay, we at least have ghostwriting. I need to write that down before I forget. That's about all. Hmm. I don't like this ghost. Mean. I guess we can turn the sink off. Hmm. I don't know. Keep kicking my camera. Halloweener, yep. I'm having trouble right now with this stupid ghost. Hello, are you here? Why do you keep kicking my camera? Please stop. No one asked you to do that and it's rude. It's very mean. It's not a piece of evidence. Okay. I'll throw that down there for right now. Hmm. 
the dots just moved. Does that does that mean dots probably? Stop it. Why does it doing that? Hmm, I wonder if that's freezing temperatures. It's so hard to see the thermometer. I don't have the lights on. It looks like it's just at five though. It's not freezing temperatures. Yeah. Um, I think we had dots at least. Wow, it's really, really liking to throw things. Hmm. Deogen or Thay? I feel like it's probably a Deogen. Because Thay, it's... Oh, well, I mean, we could wait it out and see Ghost Orb. Oh, and I can't tell because it keeps kicking my camera. Um, hmm. You can constantly sense the living. You can run, but you can hide. You don't have energy to form. Move slowly when it's approaching its victim. Active, defensive, and agile. I mean, maybe it could be a Thay, and it just hasn't. It. We just haven't weakened it yet. Hmm, but should become weaker. And we would get ghost orbs, but it keeps knocking my camera, so... I don't know. Hmm. This isn't a very good view for orbs, but... Right, and that's what they was, right? Yeah, ghost orb. Hmm. See, I'm just having a lot of trouble with the evidence situation. Um, how to get evidence. See, it feels like active, the same amount of active regardless. So if we're going off of ghost behaviors. Then it shouldn't be a they, I don't think. Spirit box. But I wasn't really getting spirit box. It was just like blinking red. I got no response. But sometimes spirit box can be hard to get. Hmm. Should we just try it and guess Diogen maybe? I guess. I mean... There's no reason not to keep looking, right? Spirit box. I left the spirit box in there. Oh, it kicked the camera again. Oh, is that a ghost orb? Is it, did they change that? Oh. Okay, I think that must be a ghost orb. That's not what they look like in real life when people call them ghost orbs, but that, that must be it. That looks so stupid. Okay. Um. Oh, wait, so it's they. Right, okay. Oof. Okay. Oh, wow. Ugh. So rude. So rude. And when one of the pieces of evidence is a ghost orb, but it keeps kicking the camera like this, so that's wild. Okay, well, we're gonna guess they and leave. I think that's all the evidence we got. Like, I think that was an orb. We definitely got ghostwriting, and I think we had dots. 
Because I saw the dots moving around. Okay, I got some sort of an achievement. Welcome back. Yay, okay, I got a thing. Yay, I was right. I was right. Yay. Okay, we managed, we managed to pull it out. So, we did it. We did it. Ooh, look at all those points. Okay. Move on to the farmhouse. All right, we're here. Take a look at the equipment and prepare accordingly before starting. We have solved the mystery of the hills. Because here, it's pretty dire. Uh, hate going to that back room. You kind of do need the lights on in this one, because it's so hard to see if you don't. You just run into walls and things. Um... Nothing so far. I think it's never these rooms. Why oh, didn't check the bathroom in this other room? Um. No, I don't think it's any of those. Nothing. Sounds like it's the uh, kitchen. I'm hearing clinging, clanking noises. getting anything anywhere. Maybe it's upstairs. It's just I heard noises down here. Forget where the light switch is up here. It's re no, it's down there. I remember. I remember. I remember. Let's go over here. Hmm. Go in here. Nope. In here. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Not getting EMF anywhere. Hmm. Let's go get the thermometer, I guess. I'm not sure. 
This blood moon, it just feels like it's always consistently hard to gather evidence. Hmm. Oh. Here, I guess. Jesus, so active all of a sudden. Oh, I should have put this down too. Did I see my breath there? I guess it doesn't matter. It really all comes down to thermometer. Um. Gee. Sure. Should be able to angle that camera correctly. And I yeah don't have anything else with me. Let's grab the dots and the camera. Oh, I don't know where to put the dots up, so let's put the camera down first, and then look for a place for the dots. Um... That should also get that. Um... So where would dots be good? Um... Right here, probably, if I can put it. Oops. There, probably. Let's turn this light out. Yeah, I think that's fine. I don't know, it's still not the best, but... Hmm, this is a hard one to potentially get fingerprints on, though. We really just have, I think, the front door. There's not really any other doors around. I guess there's windows, maybe? A light switch? There's not really windows, either. Yeah. Um. Let's go back in and check our camera. Or, back out. Back to the van. Into the van. Off. We can get a good look. It's pretty good. Oh, we can't really see the thermometer very well. Well, it's okay. Oh, wait. That's... No, it's not dots. It's just the thing swinging. That's misleading and confusing. <laughs> What's that blinking in the back? Oh, it's a candle. Right. I remember they kind of made... They look like little blinking things. Hmm. Um. Huh. So we haven't. Well, there could be dots. No oh, dots. Fingerprints. Hmm. What haven't we gotten? Spirit box. EVP and, um, my EVP, um, EMF and, um, fingerprints is what it could be. So it's possible it's none of the things we have in there right now. What is a possibility? Okay. This is going to be so hard to get fingerprints. Hello, are you here? Ghost? Are you here? Where are you? What is your name? Where are you? Can you talk to me? 
Can you tell me where you are? Hello? Ghost? How old were you when you died? I don't think that one's working. Leave it right there. Out in the rain. Smart move. No, the thermometer is still... Hmm. I'm not sure. We're getting a lot of nothing. Is that even the right room? Now I'm wondering. But a whole ghost event happened there. Um, I guess we should head back in. Why not? Hmm. Hmm. I was like, what's the noise that orb thing? Not upstairs, is it? No, it didn't make anything better. Um, gotta be down here. Um, hmm. Hello, ghost, are you here? Hello? Can you tell me your name? Where are you? Are you here? Uh -oh. I am stuck. Jeez, how did I get in there? Like that. <laughs> I couldn't get back out. Anyway, hello, ghost, I got stuck. Where are you? Are you here? Please give me a sign that you are here. Right in the book. Lower the temperature. Talk to me through the spirit box. Walk through the green lights. Do literally anything. Please. Hmm. Man. Things keep- it's doing stuff, but nothing shows up on my evidence and I'm not seeing anything, so maybe I have the wrong room. But I just- I was through that whole place and nothing happened except for that front room. This is how it drives me crazy. This is how I go insane. Um, hmm. Hmm. Man. I, 
I, that's the one thing that's frustrating about this game is you just don't know what to do when the ghost doesn't give you evidence, you know? Sometimes you just see nothing. You walk through the whole house trying to get any sort of reading and nothing happens except for in one room. So then you're in the room trying to get evidence, but nothing happens. Like, how am I supposed to play the game? This ghost is really boring. Hmm. Go back in. Try to find more evidence. It's just literally one piece of evidence. Come on. Wow, my light was on? You'll be kidding me. Hello, ghost. Are you here? I'm gonna walk through the whole house trying to find where you are. If you're in this room, say so. Please tell me where you are. Are you in here? Nope. Oh. Is that where it is? Interesting. Is it hunting or not? Definitely angry. Okay. Let's move all our stuff. Let me go outside here. Um, what is it? Oh, right over here. Okay. Relocation, relocation. I didn't turn these lights on. Oh, no, I did. I did, I did. I just had the lights in that one room off, right? Okay. Um, here's good, I guess. This one, we'll put it right here. Very active now. Now that I found it, very happy. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. Man, I just keep picking the wrong room. Because I keep trying to find it in all these rooms and I get no evidence. And so then the first room where I have a ghost event, I'm like, it must be here. Because that's literally the only thing that happened after I walked through the entire house looking for it. Okay. Hey, Yuri, okay. Well, that's fine. Hmm. Next. Um, let's do Willow Street next. Ready up, let's go. All right, we're here. Hmm. Take a look at the equipment at the, the garage, okay. The Karen Manson? Part of the Manson family? Light switching. Possibly harmless, so be careful out there. Lights, huh? What about that CCTV thing? going off the screen. Oh, that's a little suspicious to me. Yeah. Should have everything I need. Let's go. Hmm. This feels like it looks different than it used to, but maybe it's just me. See, the houses are never very creepy. The neighborhoods are always kind of creepy to me. You know? The houses are kind of boring, actually. Come on. Oh, you open inward. It just looked like it opened out for some reason. Oh, I don't really even care about turning the breaker on, but... Sure. I guess it's easy to get to, so it can't hurt. Hmm. 
Nope. Nothing there. Uh, let's check upstairs before we do the basement. Um. Hmm. He's out. Come on, go. Do something. Hmm. He's out. Every door opens the way you don't want it to. Probably intentional. Okay, I'm hearing noises down here. It's a good sign for down here. Oh. Okay. That's probably this room. Okay. Let's put the book right there. And we'll go back upstairs. We did it. We found the ghost room. <laughs> First step. Oh my gosh. I wish this character just had a little bit better stamina. It wouldn't hurt the game, I don't think. I guess the ghosts go pretty slow though, so that's part of the issue, I understand, but... I just think that maybe like during during you know a hunt I can't run but any other time I can it just it's just whoa okay excuse me pardon me ma'am um okay And hold on, I need that. Why is my flashlight off? Flashlight keeps turning off. I don't like it. Okay, um, right there, I guess, is probably good. Okay. What did you close the door for? Unlock yet? Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay. Whew. Whew. Okay. We, we did it. We did it. We did it. Okay. Wow. Yay. Okay. Wow. I've always hid. I never had to outrun it before. Was that even one of the things? Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. I've, I've never outrun it during a hunt. That's, I've always just hid like a little baby. Wow. Okay. Okay. We did it. We did it. Let's check our camera before we go back in. I feel like you can't even see the dot. That's unfortunate. Um, let's go. It's probably still tired from its last hunt, right? That's how it works. Open this nice and wide and run, 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 run. Oof, those orbs making those noises. Okay. Um, oh, the door, where's the door? Oh, it opens out, it opens out, it's over here. Oh, I can't see anything. Why is it like this? Why is it like this? Okay. Can 
That's pretty visible. Okay. Let's leave for right now. We have plenty of pieces of evidence inside. Not gonna close that door on me. <laughs> okay. Okay. A little sanity. Not looking good. Okay, that's a good shot at the thermometer. We can't really see orbs, but but if it walks in view of the camera, though, like, the orbs will show up on it, right? Like, we don't really need to see the orbs on the wall. In theory. Now we just wait. Unless it's EMF, Prince, and Spirit Box. Or not, yeah, Spirit Box, which... Hopefully it's not. Hopefully there's another piece of evidence that will show up. Um, and I mean, it should be this room, not the hall, I think. The hallway, like, the stuff happened in this room. I feel like this is also where the EMF went off, I think. Hmm. But also, I'm not getting any evidence. <laughs> so, wow. This is a really frustrating night for getting evidence, actually. They made the game a lot harder since I last played. Like, it feels like EMF will tell you what room it is, but only in the doorway. And you're like, okay, well, which room is it? And they're like, mm, I don't know. Thanks for the hydrate redeem. They're like, I don't know. Maybe you should put a book in one room and see if it writes in it. And I'm like, okay. And they're like, and if it doesn't, then it's the other room. Fine, but will it still take 10, 20 minutes for it to write in the book? And they're like, mm-hmm. So I have to wait an excessively long time in one room, and if it doesn't, try the next room. And they're like, mm-hmm. Every game should, every round should last two hours. For real? Like, come on. I can't keep waiting. There has to be some quick, identifiable evidence that at least lets you know what the room is. And the EMF is great, but it's not so great when you only show it in a doorway. <laughs> Don't know which of the two rooms it is. And then they put the ghost event in this room. But watch, like last time, the ghost event will actually be in a different room. <sighs> what even was it last time? Was it the Moroi? Was that the round? No, it was something else. I don't even know. Like, if it were twins, I could kind of understand, but I don't think it was. But maybe it was. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Um... Why is it this hard? We have Let's see. Let, let's see. Let's say. Let's just say everything we have in there cannot give us evidence. It could be EMF five, it could be spirit box, and it could be ghost writing. In which case, it's a spirit. We'll wait a bit longer and then guess spirit because we have all the other pieces of evidence we have waiting in the room. So really, it should. Should be one of those. You would think. Like, statistically, it's not all the three pieces of evidence I'm not looking for right now. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hey, Pangsin. Yep. Happy Halloween. Welcome, welcome. Happy Halloween. Mm. I was in a really good Halloween mood earlier, but then when I started streaming, I tried to play um, Suck Up, that game where you um, uh, 
like go around in your vampire and you wear the different costumes and try to convince the different people to let you into their house right um and i bought it and everything and downloaded it and it did the same thing fnaf did it that didn't pick up the game capture it was just a black screen um so kind of kind of disappointing cosmos <laughs> thank you thank you um but uh but yeah, then um, and then the Spasmo runs tonight are really rough. <laughs> just like getting no evidence. Okay, let's just say what happened. Like, do we even have the right room? Oh, the ghost is flatlined. They're dead. They're dead. Do we go in? I mean, I guess so. Why wouldn't we? Where's my, um, I guess we take the spirit box. Because we haven't even tried the spirit box yet. Alright, let's go. This ghost is not a threat. Yeah. Well, I don't know. The ghost was really excited to see me initially. When I left, then it left. It was like, nope. Bell's not here anymore. Time to leave. Hmm. Hello, ghost. Are you here? Hello? Any ghosts around? Maybe just a little bit? Are you the ghost room out here, actually? Maybe? Maybe? I don't think this is a ghost room. I don't- maybe. I don't know. Um... Turn that off. Let's look for fingerprints. No, no fingerprints. See, unless it's actually the hallway. I don't really see much, but... Is it the hallway? Has it been the hallway this whole time? Oh my god. I... Did it throw something at me? What just happened? Did it throw a hammer? Hello, ghost right here? Okay, it was the hallway this whole time. Oh, that's my breath. Okay, let's bring the thermometer out first then. Oh, right, I can clear my stuff. Put it right here. I have a feeling it's hunting right now. Take it. Take it. Okay. Um, where's a good spot for this? I guess right here, maybe? Sort of? I don't know, actually. It's probably not a very good spot, but whatever. Best we can do. Yeah, it's actually a horrible spot. We'll put it on the ground. Um... <laughs> yeah, I hear this. Okay. What the? Wait, no. Is that hunting or no? Okay. I was like, is that just a ghost event or is it hunting? But it was just, just a little, just a little ghost event. She just, she was just laughing, having a good time. I even forget who the ghost is. This round has been so long. Look at it. Heron Manson, right? I remember now. Can't really see the thermometer. Is that really way down? I think that's freezing temperatures. I think we have freezing temperatures, very least. I really think so. Hmm. 
because it looks like only this part is red, right? And the rest is not what looks like. That's actually a pretty good view for dots. I don't know why I, I always try to put it up higher. Hmm. Now we wait a little bit longer. Hmm. I did check. Oh, I didn't check the top door of the basement, though, for fingerprints. Hmm. Oh, ghostwriting. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. That really narrows it down. I don't think it's a shade. Shades are shy. Oh, and it tossed the camera. Hmm. I wonder if that means we have ghost orbs again, like last time. Okay, let's see. What, what does a shade need? Where shade here is? EMF5. Okay, I don't, I don't think it's a shade. I'm just going to rule it out just for right now. Moroi, what does that need? Writing spirit box. Um... Hyper Osmia. Hmm. All right, smell, smell, right. I was like, what does that mean again? Right, right. Strong sense of smell. Um, uh, weaker their victim, stronger. I think they've been kind of strong this entire time. So I don't think it's a moroi. But maybe. But I also didn't get Spirit Box. I had to try. Revenant. Revenant. Ghost Orb. Okay, that's the... I think it might be a Revenant. And then... It, oops, I don't want to think. Mark Revenant right now. Demon. What does a demon need? Ultraviolet. And I did kind of look at, like, one door a couple times. And the other door once. And then I never looked at the top of the hallway. So it could be a demon. And they do... They ha has been active let me look up revenant again yeah but it's tossing the they move incredibly fast oh um oh i don't know <laughs> i outran this ghost but it's tossing the camera like that but maybe it just always tosses the camera these days. The last time, the only other time it tossed the camera was when we had ghost warps. Hmm. Um. 2%. <laughs> wow. 1%. Wow. I am absolutely insane. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> ooh, ooh, uh, what should we go with? Demon or Revenant? I want to go with Revenant. I, we're going to go with, I think, well, uh, it is very violent, but it hasn't been hunting all the time, right? It's kind of just been doing other things. So I think it might be just, we're going to go Revenant. We're going to go Revenant. Watch it be Demon. It just, I don't know. It just doesn't give me demon vibes compared to the other demons I've seen before, you know? Hmm. Hmm. Welcome back. A Thay? The one that gets weaker over time? Did you see all that activity? At the what are even the ghost behaviors? How are people even doing zero evidence runs? Because the ghost behaviors do not follow the descriptions of the ghost behaviors. So, and even if it's the amount of time played, that was a pretty long round. It was like 25 minutes, something like that. Um, which is plenty of time for that day to have calmed down, and it did not. And then if it's your level of sanity before it weakens, I was at like 1% sanity. 
that's about as weak as it would get. So there's no reason for that to have been a thing based on all the other stuff. Also, we had ghost writing. And I swear that was freezing temperatures because I saw my breath and it looked like maybe maybe the thermometer wasn't set down low. But but the ghost behavior, like how how do people I've leave like in the past few weeks I've seen people do zero evidence runs. How can they do that? Like have they updated the ghost behaviors and like published that but haven't changed the descriptions in game or something? Because I like I'm frustrated that I'm getting so salty about this, but like that was that some of the ghosts you're like, mm, I don't think it's that, but that was definitely not the behavior of a Thay, regardless of evidence. It was not acting like a Thay. Because they specifically get weaker over time. And that ghost did not get weaker over time. It had high level activity right before we left. I, mm, this is the problem with this game, is they give you rules and then they break all of the rules on a consistent basis to the point where the rules don't really matter anymore. And all you have is the evidence, which is fine, but you need to make it clear that the ghost behaviors are not a thing. It's not that they're just tendencies. They might help you make a choice if you have lack of evidence or no, they just, what, what does this game want you to do? They want you to go inside and get this evidence. Even then they were giving me the only thing they were giving me what to, tell the room was emf and they only gave me enf emf in the doorway so i couldn't tell which room it was i <laughs> i get it they just want you to spend the entire game walking around the rooms because they don't want like <clears throat> i don't know what they think this game should look like to be honest i'm not sure what they're expecting this gameplay to be Okay, I need a drink. Okay. I'm frustrated. So we're going to do Sunny Meadow. Sunny Meadows. Ugh. Chosen, yep. Okay, all good. It's not, it's not a, it's not one of the special event ones, but that's okay because those are kind of disappointing. Um, We're going to switch it to Nightmare Mode. See, like here, ghosts will hide one type of evidence. How will you know? How will you know what the last type of evidence is? One would think that instead of finding the last piece of evidence, you have to rely on the ghost behaviors to make your choice. But if the ghosts do not follow their behaviors, how can you possibly guess this? This is not the best of the best. There is also a large element of luck, not just RNG luck, but it comes down to it. You're only given two types of evidence and then it narrows it down to like maybe five ghosts, four ghosts, and you have to choose. With no rhyme or reason for which one it is, because the ghost behaviors are not a thing. Anyway, let's go die at the asylum. Let's go. This will probably be our last run of the night. <laughs> kind of shorter stream again, but like I said, I'm, I'm just tired, so. I hate these maps, because you can't see anything in there. Like, what even am I looking at? There's no point to this. Okay, let's pretend that we're going to actually do anything. Creepy old keys. Flashlight is on. I just can't see anything. Which way is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm lost already. Over here. Okay. Right? Maybe? Here? Okay. Oh gosh. 
I'm never coming out of here alive. <laughs> Can't see anything. You know, shout out to the Phasmophobia team for not locking doors and making you find keys to open them throughout the level. At, you know, at least they haven't done that. Man, I can't find the ghost room in the normal levels. What makes me think I'm gonna find it here? My footsteps are so loud! There's like no stealth in this place. So dark. Over here. Did I wear like really clonky, like big heeled clonky boots or something? What? What am I wearing to this ghost hunt? I'm just kind of curious. And I really wish I could have played- oh, I'm going downstairs. I don't want to go downstairs right now. No, oh, thank you. I really wish I could have played- um, I think this is where I died the last time I was here in nightmare mode. I remember this. I remember this. I ran down here and it was a dead- yeah, a dead end! I remember, and I was down here, and I saw it coming, and then I was like, here, I'll wait here, and it came up, and it came to here, and then it was like, oop, and then it rounded the corner, and it got me. I remember. I have a TikTok of that up. Um, got a little, a little blip of VMF. Hmm. Oh, guitar. Hmm, I wish there were more notes that you can play than just like the or chords and like the two that they have going on. I guess we go downstairs. Anyway, I really wish I could have played suck up. Like I said, I it, I thought of it and I was like, oh, it's almost like going trick-or-treating. I want to go trick-or-treating. And so then I kind of thought of that all day and I was like, man, I want to go trick-or-treating so bad. That would be so much fun. I didn't get to go trick-or-treating as a kid. I want to go trick-or-treating. And opens this way. I hate this. What are these noises? I was so excited. I was like, at least I can play suck up and I can like... You know, pretend to be trick-or-treating or something. I kind of just like this as, like, an exploring an abandoned place. You know, urban exploration simulator. Kind of how I'm treating this right now. Kind of wandering around just for the vibes. Kind of, like, concerning, though, because you don't know what you're gonna... This is the room I was just in. So I'm over here. Oh, around... This way. Like, you know, there's a medical facility. You could find, like, blood or, or, you know, any sort of contaminated things around. I guess you could find that any abandoned place, really, but, you know, who knows what, like, yeah, things are contaminated around here. A little creepy. Anyway, I wanted to play suck up so I could go trick or treating, but then it didn't work out. <laughs> and I was so sad. I was looking forward to it all day. I was like, man, I can't wait to like get to wear the different little costumes and talk to all the people. I was so excited. I was so excited. I was like, that's the mood I'm in. A kind of cutesy little Halloween thing, like nothing. I'm just walking into the darkness. What even is the point of this flashlight? I guess I could have, you know, gotten it better. I guess they, the game thinks that you might get a better flashlight for a level like this. 
And you know what? That's a thought. Oh, I'm in the room. How did I end up? Oh. Padded walls and everything. It just keeps going. This would be a great level to play with other people. Hmm. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Gross. Ew. 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 Ew, why is there so much blood? I hate it. It's gross. Look at look at it. Look at it. Look how thick it is. Ugh. Ugh. Why is it even like that? This is the electric chair. It just shocks people. Right? Or no, it's not. Is it an electric chair? Oh yeah, it looks like it might be, but actually it might just be a chair used to strap people down. Now I'm thinking about it. Oh yeah. Cuz here's our surgical tools. Oh my gosh, so they just strap them down here. What type of surgery do they do here? I mean, like, maybe, like, you know, because they might have people sit up. I think I think they usually have people sit up for, like, cranial surgery, right? Like, the bottomy type of things, or, you know, just any sort of brain surgery. But, um, because I think you're usually awake for brain surgery, right? But, um, like, they can't access the back here. So, I mean, but, and usually at the back, maybe they're going through the front. Frontal lobe, this is a lobotomy situation. Oh my god. But what are they doing? These don't look like lobotomy instruments at all. Like, where's the, like, little long... This is the closest thing, but I don't think that's it. What are they doing in here? Okay, it's fine. Where does the blood even go? There's a lot of it. I'm just walking all in it. <laughs> ugh, ugh, it's so gross. Oh, here's more of it. It goes into this room here. What happened? Oh my god. Oh my god, there's... Oh gosh, this room is disgusting. Ew, 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 how is there so much? What happened? There's another... Oh my god, look at the ch this chair. is soaked. Ugh. Ugh. So gross. What is up there? Is that just more... How did it get so high? What did they do to make this much blood? Jesus. Ew, is this... What is this? What am I clicking on? You can click, can I... What is that? I can't pick it up, but it has a clicker. A little finger on it. Oh. Is that a needle? Oh, why can I, why can I pick it up? Why can I pick it up? What is what is in the needle? It's super gross. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is it is do I need to drop something? To pick it up? <gasps> what do I do with this? Ew, ew, why am I holding this? Ew. Wait, is this 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 is one of the cranial things, right? Maybe? Because like why else what else would you do with it? What am I- why am I holding these? What is the other thing in the other room, though? Ugh, gross. That little needle thing can go away. Um, what is this? What do- what do I have right now? I can't even bring it out here. What is that? Is that a liver? What is that? Chat, what organ is that? A liver or a um I don't know, it kind of looks liverish to me. Pancreas? Uh I don't know. I, I don't know. My heart tells me it's a liver, but what does my heart know? It's a heart. Let's pick up all the things. This is good for stabbing, I guess. Ugh, ugh. Something, yeah. Okay, where did I put my book at again? Whoa! What are those things? Here's- no, where did my book go? I dropped it. Here it is. Okay, there we go. Okay. Turn this back on, just in case. Okay, that was a journey. Nice little story we saw. Oh my god! Not over. 
whoa that's crazy just that's like is that just mud or something like dirty water that's okay that's fine still a lot of blood though um Oh, I can pick up that too. Hold on, hold on. What is this? I wish for knowledge. Oh, is this a... What is this? I wish for knowledge. Why were they writing this? Is that a patient wrote that? I'm assuming. But is this like supposed to be like a little like charm or something? Because like in this context, honestly, it kind of looks like a luggage tag. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, I don't know if it's like a charm or something or like a shrine. Okay, this looks like that other room we saw. This looks just like that other room, the first one. Hmm. Uh, more of these little things on the ground. What's in here? Ugh. Just more blood smear, more tools. Oh wow, a lot of different syringes and, and needles and things. Wow. I can grab all of them. Why do I need to grab those though? What's the point? If do I like if I wave it at the ghost, will the ghost be reminded of its trauma and be scared or something? Like it'll it'll give up and leave me alone. It'll be like, oh no, it's the doctor or something, right? Like, is that gonna happen? What is in here? I can pick up the cup? Why? I can pick up a lot of things in this level, and I'm not sure I understand the point of it. Wow, I can pick up all these what? can you usually pick up so much stuff? I mean, I guess maybe you can. I just, I don't remember being able to pick up so much. Oh, what do we have here? What? I can't make sense of that. Okay, hold on. I'm going to put this down here. I want to see this, these records, but I can't get a good angle there. So we got to go back out to the hallway. And find one of the tables back here. Yeah, go back here and throw this down on the table and see what we can. Mm, it's not good. No. Okay, this is fine. Um, there's nothing filled out. You gotta be kidding me. The blank sheet. Which room did I leave my book in? This one. Yeah. Okay. I'll grab my book. Anything else back here worth looking at? Also, gotta put the EMF reader on just in case I encounter the ghost room. <laughs> oh, I can't look in the drawers. Okay. I'm like full like looting mode now. I'm what else have we got? What else have we got? <laughs> I wish I had inventory. This all of a sudden this opens. Oh, opens inward. Wow. Oh, because oh it's stairs going up. Wow, okay. Oh, it's the end of the hallway. We walked all the way down. We did it. Oof. This is so, such a big map. So presumably there's a ghost in here somewhere. <laughs> hear noises out here. Which way does this door open? Hello? Okay. Um... Oh. Wow, this door is uh, broken in. What is this? I don't know. What does it say? Janko Muzikar? Oh, is that music? Oh. It must be sheet music, maybe. 
Oh, maybe this. Oh, the Divine Comedy. Kind of a questionable thing to leave in the reading rec room of a. Oh, look, there's the moon. Look how pretty. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Um. Yeah, kind of a kind of a weird thing to leave in the rec room on. Or not like weird, but I don't know. I just say questionable thing to leave fairy tales. Oh, see that's nice. Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tales, like, even though they're a little dark and kind of weird, like, I think they're okay, maybe, to put, because they're, you know, for children. Antigone. I don't know. There's a lot of philosophical, deep stuff. He, like, like, these depictions of hell, if you're in a, like, mental hospital, you sh I don't think you should be reading that unsupervised. Just... For your own good. Those are some, like, really... It's, if anyone's read it, it's, it's a, little, a, little, a little questionable. Some of the things. But I guess this isn't exactly a good mental hospital, so what am I thinking? Oh, a metronome. Oh, and another little, little ticket. What do they wish for? I can't see. I wish... The ghost was trapped. Oh. Can I do a magic spell? I wish that the ghost was trapped. Is it trapped now? What do these things do? Do they give you powers? Do you have to take them somewhere and then you do get things? The other one was a wish for knowledge. What does this do? This level's wild. Another clock. What is this book? I can't read it. I don't really care enough. Can't make that out either. The secrets. What secrets? Hmm. Hmm. At this point, I kind of just want to explore without getting killed, you know? Like, that sounds fine. Was this the room? The stairs? No. Oh, I haven't been here. Was this the room with the stairs, then? Oh, yeah, okay. Bathroom. Pretty normal. Who's open and closing doors? The secrets again. Okay, so we're, we're starting to see repeated assets. Oh, over here. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Oops. What's in here? What's in here, I say, entering every single room. What's in the bag? Why can't I interact? Okay. Oh, a cross. Three crosses. That's that's a little excessive. I think that's. I don't think you need that many crosses for one room. I think you're good. A lot of packed bags in this portion. Everyone was ready to go. Huh. A security camera? Okay, hold on. I need to get a drink. Hmm. Okay. We've been in this level for a while. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. What's down here? Which way is shorter? Like, I don't want to... Oh. It's like a storage room. Storage closet room. Okay. Hmm. I'm 
more blood spatter in this one. Okay, we haven't seen any blood spatter yet upstairs. So that's interesting. It's a lot of books and notebooks and things, I guess. More doors. Opening and closing. Hmm. Oh, I'm outside. I didn't mean to go outside. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Um, here. Oh, another storage room. Oh, a laundry room. Oh. Interesting. I don't know why it's interesting. It really isn't, actually, when you think about it. Hmm. Okay. So we came, so down this way. This is some type of cleaning room? Some utility room, I guess you could call it? Or mm, washroom, maybe? Cleaning room, maybe? Yeah, something. I guess it's still being kind of like janitorial or something. Oh, what's going on here? I can't see anything. Oh, it's another kind of like storage situation. Ah. Okay, um... Oh, it's the kitchen! Oh, hey, Ranch Savage, welcome. The kitchen. Where does this door lead? I'm getting lost now. Oh, just more storage. Okay, is this a dead end? Hmm. This would be a bad place to be if I cared about surviving. Have we been in here? No. Nope, nothing interesting behind there. Just did a thought check. What is this chair doing? A little creepy looking. It's got that book on it again. Reasons for admission. Well, I need something. Uh, laziness. Marriage of Sun. Novel reading. Oh no, I have to go into the mental hospital because I read novels. Nymphomania. Those are wildly different things. Opium habit. Overaction of the mind, overstudy of religion, overtaxing of mental powers. Uh, something we're cousins. Periodical fits, tobacco, political excitement, politics. Is that po politics? It looks like politics. What is politics? Religious enthusiasm, fever, and loss of loss or loss of fever and loss or lawsuit what fits something fits and desertion of husband oh so leaving their husband asylum bad company bad habits bad whiskey grief greediness Gunshot wound? What? You experience more magic in your everyday life. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, here, we'll do that real quick. Let's see. Uh, uh, ooh, okay. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's see here. Uh, Hold on, I need to change the right scene. Actually, you know, we'll just
Okay, I forgot. I don't have a mic over there. Um, so the card is the tower, number 16. So when we change it here, you'll see. So anyway, it's a bunch of like people jumping off a tower that's being struck by lightning. Um, and uh, this one is like the bad card. A lot of people will be like, oh, death is a bad card. Death isn't a bad card. It just means change. Or the devil is a bad card. It's not. It just means like greed or maybe um, uh, overconsumption or um, uh, temptation, right? But the tower, the tower is the bad card. But it doesn't mean like doesn't mean die now. <laughs> it means um uh like you have to get rid of something, right? Something has to be destroyed. There's something blocking you, I would say in this context, um, from experiencing more magic in your everyday life. So maybe it is like um something that else you're fixated on or some sort of worry or anxiety you have, or um uh, something that's maybe keeping you too busy to notice things um, or uh, some something that's just like stopping you. There's something stopping you and um, you need to get that something out of your life is I guess what it would mean in this this context, I'd say, probably. I don't know. I like the tower, to be honest. Um, it's very dramatic. <laughs> Oh, because it's always a tower, no matter like pretty much everything. It's it's very, very clear iconography of a tower and it is being struck by lightning, like and it's like breaking and crumbling and falling down. And there are literally always people jumping off of it. And depending on what the deck is, they might like represent the tower with different things. But like there's usually so still something to represent those people jumping off. Right. Um, and it's the idea that like everything is falling apart so bad that like like they have to jump off because the tower is literally crumbling and being struck by lightning and it's ever ever and it's, burnt, it's on fire. <laughs> it's like so dramatic. Um, so I don't know, maybe the drama as well has something to do with it, or I don't know. Um, that's like the interpretation of that card, basically. Something, something like that. Okay, I need to get back into this asylum here. Where, where's? Oh, right, we were reading the causes for admission. Um, bloody flux. Hard to read these up here. Uh, loss of children, unkind. Something sudden bleeding from the nose, paralysis, jealousy, shipwreck. No, that's not what that says says something wreck the tower manifests in midlife crisis i mean it could it could jaundice unknown unknown is not a good reason to be admitted to a mental hospital fear of being killed i don't know i mean i guess maybe like you know an unreasonable fear of being killed but you know it's good if someone were like hmm, i'm gonna kill you it's good to be afraid of that i think i think that's a reasonable fear but you know it's just me um Excessive loss of blood, blows on the head. I mean, I guess those kinds of things, yeah. Something study, intemperance, spiritual wrappings, disappointed love. Oh no. So if they fell in love, but they didn't love them back, heartbreak. Oh no. That could put people in a mental hospital, I guess. Religious anxiety, indigestion. Something disease. Time of life. The war. <laughs> Suppression of ments. Menser. I don't know what that would mean, actually. Um like stopping your period or something? I don't know. How's that happen? Um fighting fire? Fever, fever and jealousy. Isn't there already another jealousy one? Why how is fever and jealousy different? Epileptic fits. Excessive sexual abuse. I guess that could put someone in asylum too. Uterine something. Veneer, veneral excesses. 
can't read most of these. Spinal irritation. Irritation is what it looks like. It's kind of weird. Gathering in the something. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Rules for nurses. All nurses must ever remember that Sunny Meadows Mental Hospital Institution is for the care of mentally sick persons who are not always responsible for their something acts or acts or words or and whose welfare typo there is always first to be considered that the patients are always to be treated kindly. I don't know if that happened. Something is a something applied except an extreme is applied, I don't know, except an extreme emergency without the knowledge and consent of a medical officer. In case of any not any, in case of something different arising between patient and nurse, do not try to argue or use force, but send for the chief nurse or officer who will decide what shall be done. In case of an altercation between patients and blows have been exchanged, either with fists or some other weapon, or when a patient may have been pushed to the floor, the nurse shall immediately call a physician who will make an examination to determine what injuries may have resulted. Patients shall be bathed at least once a week and as much oftener as is necessary. No patient shall be bathed in the same water used for another. That's good. Extreme care must be taken and nurses or officers who must, who m officers must be present whenever a patient is bathing, using the toilets or washing hands to ensure no accidents occur. All male patients shall be shaved once a week and those who attend chapel exercises shall receive an extra shave on Saturday. Extra shave for going to chapel. How about that? Hmm. All right, we're in the little dining room area here. Hold on, I need a drink. You can look at the cross for a minute while I take a drink. Okay, have we all said our prayers? Let's go. Please, ghost, don't kill me. Although, I don't know how it could... Okay, this is the hallway, right? Which way were we going? Oh, this way. Oh no, more hallway. Oh, it's a short hallway, at least. What's down this way? Oh, more hallway as well. Jesus, this place is huge! Oh, right. Right, we're hunting for ghosts. Right, forgot. Oh, this is a pretty small room. Oh, pumpkin! Oh my gosh, what are these pumpkins doing here? Four little pumpkins all in a row. That's so cute. Oh, look at the pumpkins. Okay. That's adorable. Right, this way. Okay, um... Hmm. Oh, the window's open. Oh, I wonder if you could crawl out. I think you could- you could step up on this and then crawl out the window. I'm pretty sure you could if, if you really- if you really wanted to run from a ghost. I think you could. Hmm, this is outside, right? Yeah, this goes outside. I don't want to go outside. I'm not done. I don't know what that ghost is doing. Oh wait, there's another... Another tag over here. I wish for life! Oh no! Oh no! I don't think... I feel like you probably died. I wish for life. Oh. 
Do these do something? What what do you do with these? Do you take them somewhere? I wonder, because there's like a chapel place in here, right? Can you take them to the chapel? And like, okay, is whoever was chasing us gone now? By whoever, I mean the ghost. Are they gone? A plant. This, this has to be a fake plant. There's no way a plant's still living in here. Or ever, to be honest. There's no, like, light in here. Natural light. Cicero? Which Cicero book? Hold on. I'm not done. Paradoxa Stoicorum. I'm not familiar with that. Is that even something he wrote? I mean, maybe. I mean, Cicero wrote a lot, but... Man, who keeps running around out here? Is there a ghost that has a lot of running? I know I just complained about how the ghost behaviors don't actually do anything, but... Um... Which, which ghost likes to stomp around? Definitely not Ray. Like, see, here, they're coming. Oh, thanks for the hydrate redeem. I need to... Um... Hmm. 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 Who likes to be a stomping ghost? Um... Hmm. No, I'll go with Revenant. You know what, actually, we're not even gonna let it kill us, because I'm kind of tired of this. Oh, wait, we kind of have to, though. <laughs> I can't get back out. So let's continue. <laughs> Why has it not killed me yet? I understand I've been closing the doors, but like usually that's. Actually, let's go out one of the side doors out here. Oh, it's coming now, I think. Let's go out here. Where's the front of this building? Is there a way to get out? Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh god, is this a maze hedge? What am I getting myself into? Hedge maze. an exit somewhere. Alright, I don't think this is a way out. Now I'm stuck. I can grab a shovel and bonk it. Um. Help. Okay, here we go. Way back in, yeah. Alright, back inside. Just kill me. That's fine. Right, I was already in here and I was heading down this way. This is around where the ghost is. If it's stomping. I'm stomping too. Maybe everything just stomps in here. Alright, there's the pumpkins. We were already here. How'd we go so far back? 
Oh, I was outside and I went in. I went in that door rather than this one. My bad. Oh no, it's coming to kill me. <laughs> it finally got to me. <laughs> it finally got to me. Oh my god, that was like 40 minutes. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Hmm. Alright. A Moroi! I wasn't gonna guess that, so that's fine. <laughs> well, that was okay. <laughs> I don't know, I like the Asylum, even on Nightmare difficulty. That's still, you know, pretty, pretty good, I think. Um, I'm, I'm still happy with that. We spent 40, we need to change this, though, before... <laughs> before, before I play again. I don't want to be accidentally stuck on nightmare mode when I start up the game. I've got some jobs ready for you. Okay. Leave game. Yes, please. Last round was quite long. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so yeah, so it was a nice little evening. A nice little Halloween spook. Again, I really, really, really wish I could have played um, Suck Up. Like I, I just wanted something lighthearted and cute, you know? Um, like, you know, kids, kids Halloween, you know, like, like, I don't know. I got, I got in a trick or treating mood. I went, I, said, I remember that game and I was like, mm, man, that's what I want. That's what I want out of my Halloween. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Yeah. Good stream. Good stream. Thank you. And thank you everyone. Thank you everyone who was here. Um, thank you for, for the raid and for chatting and, and for, for lurking and bot watchers later. I appreciate you too. Um, and, um, thanks for the applause, Redeem. Um, and, uh, tomorrow I am finally taking a day off of stream. <laughs> Hooray, rejoice. I'll stop bothering you guys. <laughs> Change. Um, so, uh, I will be around the internet though tomorrow, um, on Twitter and Blue Sky. So be sure to follow me on those places and on my Discord. The link is on those sites as well, on the socials, Twitter and Blue Sky, as well as here on, uh, Twitch, um, on my Twitch channel page, and um, I don't think I've updated the uh, the command for it. So, or if I even have a command for it, uh, but it's on the channel page, um, and uh, it is also on my channel page on um, YouTube as well. Um, so you can check there. And um, hmm. Uh, and then um, also you can follow me on TikTok, um, and of course, and of course you can subscribe to my YouTube. Vods go up there. Um, as you can find VODs from recently that are also here on Twitch, but also many, many, many old VODs from a long time ago. And, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, I put up a Halloween story today, um, on my Twitter and, and Blue Sky. So you can read that if you want. Just a cute, like, just a little, just a little story. It's not very good. Um, I wrote it last Saturday night after stream. And, um, just because, I don't know, the idea came to me and I was like last week and I was like, hmm, maybe that could be a story. So, um, it's kind of short. Nothing really special, but, um, you know, just a little, little, little Halloween treat. Just a little, little treat for um, Halloween to acknowledge the holiday and do something special. Um, since Halloween week kind of didn't turn out quite the way I'd hoped. Um, it was just a little, a little much. Um, I, w I was looking through the map of all the games we played. <laughs> um, and uh, at the beginning of stream, I think I decided Fierce to Fathom ruined every everything. That a Norwood Hitchhike ruined everything. That's, that put a negative tone on everything there on out. I don't know why. It just, <laughs> I was, it was in a bad mood. And then I was always trying to recover from it is kind of what was the scrambling from all, out of that bad mood that that game put me in. <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with it, but um, it was not, mm, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't good. Um, so uh Let's see. Um, so yeah, so the anyway, but that um the story kind of, you know, I was like, oh, we'll do an extra little, extra little thing. But also to remind everyone that I'm um doing not NaNoWriMo for November. And anyone who wants to do any sort of other creative endeavor um and try to complete it or try to hit some sort of benchmark or work towards some sort of creative goal at least um by the end of November, starting November 1st and kind of keeping track and and trying to be consistent and also silencing your inner critic, right? Trying to hit a high goal 
that is a lot of work to achieve, but only if you stop second guessing yourself, right? November is all about stop guessing, second guessing yourself, stop doubting, um, do the thing you want to do, um, and uh, trust yourself, trust the universe, <laughs> I guess. Um, and uh, just know that things don't have to be perfect. It's okay if things don't work out or if you need to change things later and just just go with it, you know, um, just do it, just do it. Um, and, uh, so, um, that's what November is all about, uh, for essentially any creative endeavor or really anything you want to do, but, um, particularly for, you know, a, you know, any, any sort of goal you have or anything you want, you know, just go for it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, but I have, um, channel in my discord that I'll be hanging around in as well. The like cafe vibes hangout which is like where you can just kind of chill and hang out while um, if you're doing something creative, that's where I'll be while I'm writing. I also have um, Blue Sky and Twitter open probably too. Um, but as I'm as I'm writing in November, especially on days I'm not streaming, um, I'll probably have Discord open as well. And if you are working on something, you can pop in there and chat if you want. Um, that's kind of, you know, like, like a little like a little coffee shop, you know, little coffee shop vibes. Because um, I really miss that. LA doesn't have much of a like cafe coffee culture. Um, I really miss that from the East Coast because I used to go in November to coffee shops and do a lot of writing there. Um, and they were always nice and cozy. And, you know, this time you was getting cold and, and you could go in the coffee shop and get a nice drink um, and uh, maybe even a Christmas drink at this time of year. And they were getting all the things decorated for Christmas. And you would go in and, and you listen to the music and listen to the baristas and hear them joke around and and then and you and you there would be other people around kind of chatting and who knows what you would overhear or see and and you know it was just it was just kind of all nice and cozy and i really miss that but you don't really get that in um in la which i'm which is so tragic like any of it you don't get any of it um so you know i have a little channel in my discord for that, for what that's worth a little little text channel <laughs> That is a very, very poor substitute, but you know what? It's the best we got. So, um, but anyway, so that's coming up for November. November's going to be a good month. Okay. It's going to be a good month. Everything is going to go amazing for everyone, for all of us. Okay. Um, anyone watching this, November's going to be a good month for you. I promise. I, I promise. Can I make that promise? No, but I am anyway. So, you know, watch me. Um, so yeah, so I'm I'm excited for November and um so yeah, no stream tomorrow, kind of I'm I'm starting my November plans. Um, but uh but I'll be around. Um and then Saturday, another spooky stream, not sure what. Um hopefully though I'll be kind of like, you know, a day off <laughs> will help. Um, but uh so I don't know what I'll play. Might might actually start like a something else. Mm, actually, I don't know. Uh we'll see, we'll see what I what I decide by Saturday um that I want to do. Um, and then uh, Sunday will be an entirely different non-spooky game entirely. Um, I don't know what yet. We'll see what I feel like by then. But um, but yeah, so so I'm excited for that and looking forward to that. Um, just because I need a little bit of a break. I've over spookied myself. <laughs> so out out spooked, over spooked, over spooked. I think that's the word. I, I over spooked myself. Um, and uh, too much spooky, um, too much horror. And I need a little bit of a palate cleanser. So uh, that'll be on Sunday. So we're still doing spooky Saturday. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone for hanging out. Thanks for being around all of Halloween week. I appreciate it. Um, you guys are all awesome. Um, and I hope you have a good couple days. And um, again, November's the month, guys. November's the month. It's everything's going to come together. Good things will happen in November. I promise. I promise. Um, so yeah, that's all for tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, and uh, goodbye, goodbye. Have a happy Halloween. Goodbye.